Good evening. Welcome to COVID-1900 Prayer. We are live on Instagram, live on Facebook, um, here on the CMF social media channels. It's good to be with you this evening. It'd be great to, again, be reminded of where we're joining from. I'm based in Luton, um, sitting upstairs in my house, been working in, in Luton uh, today. Um, tell us where you're coming from. Tell us where you're joining us. I know that people all around the world have a message in today from folk in Australia who are joining us in the morning. So good morning to you and good morning to everyone who's joining with us. Um, Today our prayer focus is the Republic of Ireland and um, you can hear one of our voices from the Frontline podcast which I put in the notes uh, from Naomi who's an international medical student and it's a really inspiring story of what God has been doing in her life um, as a, an international student from uh, Canada living and uh, studying and now will be working in the Republic of Ireland so just recommend that to you but also um, we've got Ella who's a redeployed trainee and her wedding's been cancelled it was due to happen just this weekend and she tells us about what God has been doing in that she's been redeployed from being an ophthalmology trainee to working um, on a COVID ward so some good stuff there check those out some of those are in the in the notes as well so welcome um joining us more around the world we've got adrian joining us from romania hi adrian um and others joining us from around the uk so welcome to covid 1900 prayer this is a chance for us just to stop and to pray in the midst of busyness in the midst of lots of uncertainty for those in healthcare who are needing spiritual and physical and emotional support and it's a good opportunity just to to do that to stop and to pray for healthcare for our nation and for for the globe and this is aimed at christian healthcare workers but many are joining us who are not in healthcare you're so welcome it's good to pray uh, together i'm not sure if um you've seen the um the blessing the uk blessing that went around this weekend certainly we watched it yesterday as we were with our church family and it was just a great a great time wasn't it to to enjoy that so do check that out as well if you haven't haven't seen it so today I'm going to go to the Doctor's Life Support, which is a daily uh, devotional. It's written by medics from around the world. And every day on the CMF website, there is a new devotional. And the link is, again, in the notes. And I encourage you to check that out. Um, I use it from time to time, and it's really helpful. Um, and today I thought it was very apt. It was um, It's around the subject of peace, and it's from Philippians um, chapter 4 verses four to nine so i'm just going to read those verses and then we'll just say a couple of words before we pray together about peace welcome everyone joining us on instagram on facebook great to have you with us do pop where you're from in the comments so we can just see and let's see how god's gathering us together so philippians 4 4 to 9 this is paul writing he says rejoice in the lord and i say it again rejoice let your gentleness be evident to all the lord is near do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you've learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. That's amazing, isn't it? It's just an amazing passage. And um, that word peace is interesting, isn't it? You know, we often pray for peace. So I think, you know, what does it mean? Well, peace, peace in our hearts, you know, and peace in like the usual sense of that word is not always descriptive of life, um, of a a junior on a hospital ward, I was speaking to someone today who's just, you know, just really stressed, really busy. It's not a peaceful situation. I spoke to someone else who's one of our team leaders who's uh, both a GP, but also uh, a mother, you know, peace in a household like that, not particularly descriptive of life. Peace in a world of Zoom meetings and of people like me being on, on social media, you know, sometimes it's not always very peaceful, is it? Demands are on our time, bleeps going off, you know, phones intruding on meals, conversations, relaxation, sleep, everything that we do. But Jesus promises his peace to reign in our hearts, a peace that's that's unlike any other peace, independent of circumstances. 
and in spite of anything around us that would harass us. So what is that? What is that peace? It's peace with God. It's the peace of knowing forgiveness of sins and being reconciled, being made right with God. That's that brings ultimate peace. That's certainly my story that brings me ultimate peace. Romans 5 1 says we're justified by faith. And because of that, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's just the most amazing thing. Nothing can disturb that peace that springs through saving grace. Nothing can, even external stuff. And Paul tells us, too, that since we're at peace in God and his resources, you know, kind of are available, therefore, for every need, every circumstance, because we trust in him, every circumstance we have, God will give us his peace. And every day when we have fears and anxieties, he wants to give us that peace. We see that elsewhere, Isaiah 26, verse 3. He will, you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. These are the verses that I, I, I grew up learning because they're just so true and so helpful. But we also have our part to play. Sometimes I think, oh, I'm just going to be passive, you know, give me some peace, God, you know. And I kind of like that approach. There's something inside me that's just said, yeah, I just want that peace. But but Paul doesn't, have, doesn't let you off that easily. We have our part to play. We have this command from Jesus in, in, in John 14. Let not your hearts be troubled, nor let them be afraid. Or Paul elsewhere in Colossians 3 says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you are called. There's an element of letting, allowing. In our passage today, you know, Paul says, I'll say it again, rejoice. Do not be anxious. By prayer and petition, present your requests from God. There is an activity. There's something actually that we're called to do. Um, we're not called to obtain our salvation, but we're certainly called to respond as well. And there's a guy called Edward uh, Bickersteth. He was a bishop in Exeter um, in the sort of late 1800s. And he was a really interesting guy, wrote loads of hymns and stuff. But he was also um, uh, a missionary. He also went, went abroad with the Chinese China, China Inland Mission, now OMF. And he was a guy who suffered a lot of trouble in his life. Um, but he wrote an interesting uh, stanza of a hymn. And he said this, peace, perfect peace in this dark world on sin. The blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Peace, perfect peace by thronging duties pressed to do the will of Jesus. This is rest. Peace, perfect peace, our future all unknown. Jesus we know and he is on the throne. And, and I, that's what I, I believe entirely about this time. He's on the throne. He's in charge. And we have access to perfect peace. I think that's amazing. So why don't we just pray? We're going to pray for our healthcare service, our nation and the globe, particularly the focus on Republic of Ireland today as we pray around every single nation, every single region in the UK in these uh, few weeks. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our peace and we pray that we'd be open to receive your peace. But Lord, we would also resolve to seek it and to take hold of it and to think on these things and to determinedly put them into practice. We thank you that true peace is possible in being right with God, in knowing forgiveness of sins, in having that right relationship with the Father through Jesus. And Lord, we pray that those who don't know you would have the joy of knowing this peace for themselves, freely bought for us. We pray for our health service, Lord. We thank you for our scientists who are engaged in looking for solutions at this time. We thank you that the pursuit of science is in is in some way Lord, a pursuit of God himself, that we actually, as Kepler said, we think our thoughts. So we think thinking God's thoughts after him. And Lord, as we come to you, we thank you for the discipline of science and we pray for insight and we pray for a real collegiate response. Lord, we pray that personal and national ambition wouldn't it wouldn't sort of hamper uh, our road to an effective uh, solution, antibody testing, vaccines and other things. Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for healthcare professionals in the Republic of Ireland today, Lord. We pray for strength and stamina for them in the ongoing fight against COVID-19. Lord, we respond to local prayer requests today and we pray for open hearts and that many would be saved. We pray against the mentality and heritage of oppression and depression. We pray specifically for young people at this time of lockdown, Lord. We are aware of the rising suicide rate in Republic of Ireland and we pray against this in Jesus' name and that many would come to know you. 
And Lord, we pray for our globe. We pray for mission agencies who are responding to the changes. We pray for partners who have been relocated, many back to the UK. We ask for peace amidst uncertainty around the future. And we pray, Lord, that you would open doors at this time when many emissions are no longer physically present. Lord, we pray that seeds that have been sown would bear fruit and there would be a great harvest. And we work so that we might be able to say, it's not our work, but it's your work, God. And we pray you'd raise up and you'd strengthen churches in places where you are least known, both in the UK, but around our world. Lord, we thank you again for the peace that we can know through Jesus. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I can see a number of you joining on, on uh, Instagram as well. Great to see you um, uh, around the UK as well. Susie, Daniel, Francis, Kimmy, thank you too for joining us. Um, Susella, hi. Good to see you. People from around the world joining us. Great to be with you today. Feel free to comment. Please, please feel free to send your prayer request, prayer at cmf.org.uk. Check out the Doctor's Life Support feed, which I've put um, on the post and uh, again remember about our voices from the frontline series check that out check out the recordings from our national online gathering which are all on our social media channels particularly on youtube and on our, our and on our podcast feed as well so join us again tomorrow at seven o'clock i think it'll be rachel with us tomorrow looking forward to that we'll be ready to pray again great to see you all uh, have a great evening good night bye for now <laughs>